Reading with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? <laughs> this book is being read with permission from Diane Alber. Never let a unicorn get spots. Written and illustrated by Diane Alber. I'm not sure how it happened, but today I woke up and my pet unicorn was covered in spots. I had to do a close examination of these spots to see what I was dealing with. So I got out my doctor bag and found my magnifying glass to get a closer look. It was just as I suspected. She got a case of the silly spots. She must have gotten them when we were telling jokes yesterday. Those knock-knock jokes were pretty hilarious. At first, these spots seemed pretty harmless, but then my unicorn sneezed, and spots blasted out of her nose. They were getting everywhere. Why didn't she cover her nose? I had heard that you never want your unicorn to get spots, but once she has them, how do you get rid of them? I needed to come up with a remedy and quick. So I thought if I covered them with some bandages, like you cover a scrape, maybe that would make the spots go away? I went into my doctor bag and got some bandages. I put one on every spot. I waited for a bit, but when I took them off, the spots were still there. Maybe I could wash them off. If it works for germs, maybe it would work for spots? But the spots were still there. This was all making me very tired, and it looked like my unicorn was getting tired too. So I covered her with a nice cozy blanket and climbed into bed. Maybe, just maybe, getting some sleep would help. When I woke up, my unicorn was missing. Where did she go? I searched everywhere in my room, but my unicorn was nowhere to be found. I ran to check the rest of the house. As soon as I reached the hallway, I saw the most amazing spot art ever. As it turned out, while I was sleeping, my unicorn was busy making spots. It was the only thing I didn't think of. She had to make spots to get rid of them. I can see why people say, never let a unicorn get spots. They are really hard to get rid of. But without those spots, we would have never known the healing power of art. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!